Today we're going to show you how you can set your timing and set your idle mixture uh, uh, screws on a carbureted engine with just the engine stat. Now normally to do that you would need all these pieces of equipment. You'd need a tachometer, you need a timing light, you need a vacuum gauge. You need all this hooked up to your car. So we're talking five or six hundred dollars worth of equipment and 10 or 15 minutes to hook it all up and then you make your adjustments and you take it back off you drive the car you don't like it you put it all back on again you make the adjustments again we're going to show you how you can use engine stat to do this without hooking anything up you'll be able to drive the car adjust it drive the car adjust it very quickly and get a better uh, overall result because you'll be able to adjust that car under actual di driving conditions we'll click on this tile here and we'll see that we'll we have our vacuum and our, our uh, uh, tachometer uh, gauges, and we'll use these while we're adjusting our timing uh, to give you an example of how we can tune a car without connecting all this stuff. Okay, so we don't need any of this stuff. We're gonna take this away. We don't have to spend the money for this equipment either if you buy an engine stat. For basic tune-ups, you just need engine stat. Now we're going to start our car and we'll be able to see our tuning parameters right here on the engine stat. The engine stat hooked up of course. Engine stat is permanently installed in your car and you're able to hit the gauge button and see uh, your engine RPM right there and your engine vacuum. Now we're going to set the timing by uh, adjusting the distributor cap. I like to use a uh, vacuum reading to adjust the timing. You'll notice here as I change the distributor, it changes. It goes down, it goes back up. Uh, yeah, that's better. But most old cars have very, very, very poor uh, uh, timing alignment. In other words, if this car has been run for 50 years, it's very likely that those timing marks, which are mounted on a rubber uh, vibra vibration dampener uh, system to the crank, are off. So I like to use vacuum and RPM to set the timing rather than trust the timing light on an old car like this. Now if I rebuilt the car from scratch, then I would uh, set the timing with the light. In this case, I could adjust the timing and watch the engine RPM change. There it goes up. As I advance the distributor, it's running smoother, going up, the vacuum is higher. There are a lot of proponents who say that adjusting with vacuum is the best way to set timing. And there we have it. We didn't have to hook any equipment up. We can just tighten our uh, distributor, reconnect the uh, distributor vacuum advance later on, and we're ready to go. The great thing about having this tool permanently installed is if you're driving the car, you notice knocking, you notice a problem, you can just pull over somewhere safe, adjust it with your screwdriver and your distributor wrench, and you don't have to hook up any equipment. It's really great when you're optimizing old cars.